It's been quite a season of Australian rules football here in New England. First, the region saw a new club as the Maine Cats began their inaugural campaign up in Portland. And now, the game will be seen in another new territory as footy officially comes to the Green Mountain State. Today, we'll see the debut of another new club, the Vermont Black Diamonds. Stateside footy starts now. We're on location at the Shelburne Community School in Shelburne, Vermont, where today the Battle of the Northeast will kick off with a match between the Maine Cats and the newly minted Vermont Black Diamonds. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Stateside Footy, the program that brings you the game of Australian rules football as it's played here in the United States. Alongside Stacey Robert, I'm Bill Robert, and today we bring you the birth of yet another New England-based footy club. Like the Maine Cats, the Vermont Black Diamonds have sprung forth from the mind of a one-time Boston Demon. In the case of the Cats, it was Tim Fullwider. In the case of the Black Diamonds, it was former Demons captain Damian Hallam. And now these two clubs will face each other on this warm day up here in Shelburne, Vermont, not too far from Burlington. This is actually the first match of a few planned for today. Today. The Quebec Saints and the Boston Demons have also made the trip, and they'll be playing each other later on in this episode. And after that, the Cats will take on the Saints. You'll see that in our next episode. Right now, it's time to welcome the Vermont Black Diamonds to the world of American footy. After the break, we'll bring you their first match, in which they'll match up against the Maine Cats, right here on Stateside Footy. football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com, find your team, check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We want the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. And here we go, the ball is up, and we have footy for this Battle of the Northeast here. And it starts off, Vermont will get the first possession, then he's dispossessed as the Cats look to move it up right now. And we've got a whistle, and it looks like we got a free kick. And free kick going to, not quite getting to his target right there, but Vermont's got it. He'll take it off the ground, it'll sit for him. And he does kick it now, looking for, does he get his target? Nope, it is spoiled, and it goes out wide now. Battle for it, headed out to the near boundary, and it does sit for him. And then, wrestling, he's got it. No prior opportunity, it looks like, though, so it'll just go out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. First moments of action here between the main cats and the uh, brand new, well, actually, the second new New England team this year, the Vermont Black Diamonds. And it's tossed in now. And just caught right out of the ruck, and uh, the Cats can't clear it, though. Vermont moves it ahead. They try a hit quick handball, and the ball is loose. Cats have it now, and we've got a free kick. Free kick going to Vermont. And that's kicked up now. High kick. Can he mark it? No, he can't mark it. Cats will come away with it, and they'll try and move it up the ground right now. There's a quick handball intercepted by uh, Vermont. And they'll try to move it ahead. He is dispossessed, brought to ground. And we've got a whistle. And a free kick is going to the main Cats, their first free kick of the match. And he kicks it up, looking to center it. And it just goes over his intended target's head. Moves right back to him, though. Bounces back off the ground. Took a real nice bounce. And let's see, will that sit for him? No, it won't. He's got it now, though, far boundary. And he'll just handball it ahead. Here we go. Moving ahead, I believe that's O'Connell with it now, Dan O'Connell for the Cats. He kicks it in toward the sticks, and that's going to move, and that's going to be across the face of goal, and that is going to be uh, out of bounds. It'll be a boundary throw-in. However, good result for the main Cats if the boundary throw-in will occur at their right forward pocket. <laughs> and 
And so they'll get set to throw it in right now. Goes in kind of, and they're going to do it again. Or are they? Yeah, they are. They're going to redo the throw in. Last one was a bit of a line drive. Up it goes, and knocked on ahead by Vermont. They're trying to move it out of there. Loose ball. Cats have it now. And just a quick little centering ball. And they've got it right there. That's going to be uh, right in front of the goals. Loose ball there as uh, one of the Vermont players took it. Then he got tackled. Brought to ground. And it's going to be a ball up literally right in the shadow of the main attacking goals. And Vermont's got it now. And the handball goes out basically to no one. He handballs it to himself after it bounces off the ground. And here come the uh, Black Diamonds now. And the kick goes out. Let's see how far it goes there. Oh, almost a one-handed mark. Nice attempt there by Vermont. And the Cats moving it, trying to kick it, uh, basically trying to soccer it off the deck. And we've got a free kick there for kicking in danger. So as a result, the Cats will give up that free kick. The uh, Black Diamonds will have it now. And he marks it in the near wing. Here we go. And that's Damian Helen with it right now. He takes two running bounces, sells a bit of candy, and then he is dispossessed, holding the ball. That's ball. And so now, the main cats will have it. Centered, that's Jeremy Hum with it now. And he'll just get a nice long lead kick in, and it's gonna bounce and it'll be touched. And that'll be the first point of the match. Rolls through for a behind, and that will be one point for the main cats. And right now they lead it by a score of one behind one. As the kick in comes out now, and actually, he's just going to kick it to himself and then run out with it. Big kick now on the far wing. And nice spoil there. And that's going to go out. I believe that was uh, Jeremy Hammond that spoil there. As usual, he kind of winds up going everywhere. Ball goes up again. And hit out to advantage by the Black Diamonds. But then intercepted. And I believe that's uh, Bellavo, Alex Bellavo, number 36. And let's see, we've got a, another free kick, I believe. Uh, might have been either pushing the back or kicking in danger. Didn't see the uh, umpire's indication. But the Cats have the free kick. And he gets the boot to it. That's got the carry. Doesn't have the aim. That's uh, Didn't see the uh, goal umpire, but I thought I saw him holding one finger. But uh, no, everyone's running up, so I believe that's going to be adjudicate. Well, actually, let's see. They're setting up for the kick-in, so that'll be another minor score for the main Cats. So now they lead two behinds, two to zero. As the uh, kick-in comes in, it's marked, and then he is dispossessed. Far boundary, they still pick it up, though. Vermont's got it, and they try and move the ball ahead. Very windy day here in Shelburne, Vermont. And it goes off the ground. Cats have it back now. Chain of handballs. Hum has it now, and he gets it over. And here we go. He is wrapped up. He's able to get the ball out, though. However, Vermont picks it up, and now he handballs it ahead, goes off the ground, and it will sit for the uh, Black Diamonds. Then it uh, bounces, actually. And uh, battle for it along the ground now. Cats almost had it. With it, there's P.J. Devine. He handballs it off, and here we go. That's Nick Parker with it now. He kicks it up looking for a point and doesn't quite get it. Actually, the ball is still in play right now. The Cats trying to get some numbers up there, but uh, Vermont showing some uh, numbers in defense, and they're able to get the ball out of bounds. It'll be a boundary throw in in the Cats' attacking zone. And it goes up now and punched out. And who's going to get there first? Looks like it's going to be Bellavo. He handballs it back to Hum. Hum, handball over. And it's kicked. And they just uh, tried and set it out wide. And he just tries to get it off the ground a few times. Finally gets it, but then he's dispossessed. And a couple of players go after it now. And Vermont's got it back. They kick to the center, looking for numbers. However, uh, he's actually going to get it. Runs through the opposition and try to handball it off. Not fielded cleanly as a result, once again, it's going to be taken by the Cats. Whoop, we've got a whistle and a free kick going to the Vermont Black Diamonds. So it's a Vermont kick right now. Vermont in the black and gold colors of the Richmond Tigers today as they move, kick it up ahead. Looking for and not quite getting their man. It is spoiled. 
And there's a battle for it. Real hard footy out there right now. Far boundary. Bunch of players going after it. Vermont tries to run with it. He can't do it. He is tackled. And then there's a whistle and a free kick being awarded. So far, Vermont getting the lion's share of the free kicks. He kicks it up now. Nice centering ball. Hellam centering under it. And he can't get it. The man they call high flying Hellam just couldn't get up enough to get it. And it'll sit for PJ Devine. He'll handball it off. And here come the Cats moving through the center of the ground. Oh, it's O'Connell. He tried to running bounce. And let's see here. We've got a free kick going once again to Vermont. No, I'm sorry. He was pointing at the mark. He wasn't pointing at the team. Oh, no, actually, no, he was. That's a free kick that's going to Vermont. So the Black Diamonds with it right now. And they will kick it up near boundary. It's going to take a skip and a jump and go out of bounds. It'll be a boundary throw in almost right in front of us. Just about at the midpoint of this first game in this uh, Battle of the Northeast, and right now, score stands Maine 2 and Vermont nothing. And it gets thrown in. And, oh, just as he's about to catch it, he gets tackled by O'Connell. And now Devine has it. Devine with a centering ball. Oh, he can't mark it. He gets it, though, off the ground. And then kicks it, and that's going to be out on the full, it looked like. A few players in front of us at the boundary, so it's hard to see. But indeed, out on the full, free kick, Vermont. And he'll get it to the boot, just line it up, and he's marked it. Vermont now looking to move it. They kick it up, and that is intercept marked there by Beliveau. Beliveau with the kick. Nice high kick. Players lining up underneath it, and goes off a hand, goes to ground. Vermont picks it up. And they kick it. That is smothered. That is a nice smother on that kick. And then a bunch of players down going to ground. We've got a whistle and another free kick. It looks like the Cats will have the free kick this time. So Maine with a free kick. Perhaps within range. So far they've only kicked two minors. And that looks like it's going to be straight. Will it be long enough? And let's see. That goes through. And we've got a Vermont player clapping. So I think someone got a hand on it. So that's just another point. So now it's three behind three for the main cats. And Vermont taking the kick in from their own back goal square. Just a short kick and he's marked it. Now they're gonna move it up the far boundary. Big kick. And Hum will get the intercept mark. And the cats will turn it back around into attack. Nice line drive kick. Marked in defense, though, by Vermont. And now they're going to try and move it up the corridor. And, oh, Beliveau can't take the intercept mark, and it's taken down. Here we go, Vermont with it. Handball's ahead. He tries to sell some candy. He gets wrapped up by two players, and it looks like it's ball. Indeed, holding the ball, Maine will get the kick. So the Cats get rewarded for that tackle. And the kick goes, and it is marked. He's going to play on, and he kicks it toward the goal. That's going to go high and sail, and I believe that's going to be out. Let's see. Nope, I saw one finger. So it looks like that'll be just uh, another behind, it looks like. And once again, Vermont setting up to take the kick in from their own back goal square. So now it's 4 nothing in favor of Maine. Maine still looking for a major score. Vermont still looking for any score at all. As we get into the latter stages of this first quarter, actually, I'm sorry, it's outside, so it was out on the full. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a point. So uh, I retract that previous call. It's actually still three to nothing. That kick didn't go through for a behind. It curved and went out on the full. Vermont got the free kick, but now Maine's got it now. Centering ball, looking for a target in close, and almost getting it there. One of the cats, but Vermont will come out with it now. And he tries a running bounce, and he can't pick it up. Cats have it now. Sells some candy, gets the handball off, and he is wrapped up just as soon as he gets it, too. And Vermont with it. Kick to the near boundary right in front of our commentary position. And fielded by Katie Ree, the Lady D. <laughs> All right, wow, there we go. And hit out of the ruck, almost to advantage as Helm tried to run away with it. Oh, he tried to soccer off the ground, he missed. Helm's got it now, and he goes to ground. 
And they're just going to battle their forward. Ball's still loose. Ramont with it now. He is wrapped up. He's able to get the hand off. Intercepted by a cat who's then wrapped up as well. And we've got another whistle. And who's going to get the uh, free kick? Looks like it's going to be Vermont. So Vermont right now, once again, getting the uh, bigger share of the free kicks. And that's a kick headed out right up the corner. And it's marked. So far, Maine's got all the scoring shots, but they've all been minors. Which means all they need is one straight kick, and they can take the lead in this thing as the ball is kicked to the far wing and uh, still in play, but it's going to roll out over the boundary line. It's going to be a boundary throw in. Latter stages of this first half, just uh, I think a couple of minutes left by my unofficial estimate. And right now it's main three, Vermont nothing. Handball now, Vermont. Looking to move. It's the first kick towards the sticks, but it looks like it'll be intercept mark. It will. And the Cats have it, and they're just going to try and turn it right around into attack. But it's it, almost intercept mark there. It goes off Hallam's hands. And uh, Vermont now, handball back to Hallam. And O'Connell in there as well. Divine in there. Handball back. Here, here they come again. And oh, that's a, almost a push in the back, but uh, now we get away with it. And the kick goes in now, and oh, it's punched away by the Cats. And he can't field it. Here come the Cats once again with it. And the handball goes off, and here we go. That's just a line drive right there. Oh, it sits for him, and he's able to get it. Kick in now towards the sticks, and let's see. It takes a skip, and looks like uh, Vermont will get there first, but they can't field it cleanly. They do get out of there now. Almost a chance for the Cats to put through another score. And let's see. He picks it up off the ground now. Handball's out wide. Oh, he sells the can. He jumps inside, takes a kick toward the goals, and that's going to be another minor score, it looks like. So now it is uh, main four. And Vermont, nothing. Looks like just the seconds left in this one here. And once again, Vermont taking the kick in. Kick out toward the far boundary. And intercept marked. And the Cats now with a chance to kick some more points. Bit of an angle there. It is a high kick. It is bending. And that is a goal. I guess they just needed the angle. Might have gotten a bit of help from the wind, too. Actually, I'm sorry. Nope. Looked like I thought it was a goal. I saw I thought I tossed. I thought I saw two fingers. No, I thought I tossed. I'm not Tweety over here. Uh, <laughs> once again, Vermont with the kick in. Five behinds, five now for Vermont as the ball comes off the ground. And uh, Jeremy Hum has it. Oh, he uh, handballs it outside now. Kick again, and that's going to go wide as well. That'll be another point. So now the Cats don't have a major, but they have a major's worth of minors. Six behind, six points for the crew from Maine. And so far, Vermont, in their very first game, the Black Diamonds looking to still get their first kick on goal. They've come close, but so far, no cigar. Kick comes out, kick in, and let's see here. Bounces off a couple of hands, and Vermont's got it now. They handball it back. Goes off the ground, and oh, he just kicks, tries to kick it along the boundary. Winds up being kicked out on the full. And that'll be a free kick for the main Cats. And here comes the kick. Goes in, takes a bit of a bounce. And let's see, it's gonna, it's gonna be knocked out. And who's gonna get there first? Oh, the Cats have it again. He takes a kick for goal. And that one's sprayed wide as well. That's another behind. Seven behind seven. So. Still in the latter stages of this first half. I thought we had just seconds to go, but uh, once again, I said the unofficial time estimate. And I've just made that unofficial as heck as the kick in comes in once again. And oh, it goes off a foot, and it, oh, he got lucky there because it landed just inside the boundary and then skipped out. So it'll be a boundary throw in and not a free kick for out on the full.
Boundary throw in in the Cats right forward pocket. Tapped out by Vermont. They're trying to move it forward. Cats trying to pick it up off the deck too. And Vermont comes out with it and they're able to get the uh, escape play. And then it bounces back right into the hands of Jeremy Hum. Hum doing a little bit of a dipsy doodle there. He handballs it off and Cats have it now on the move. Get the kick there. Oh boy. Taken out just as he gets the ball away. And Vermont with it now. Handball. And almost tackled. And ball goes to ground once again as a bunch of players go to ground. And it looks like we've got a free kick. That free kick will be going to the main cats. That's a long kick. Looking for, not quite getting his target. It's going to skip. And it's going to wind up going out of bounds. It'll be a boundary throw in. Once again in the cats attacking territory. And the throw-in comes in and hit out. Uh, Vermont has it. That's a nice smother. <laughs> it's probably going <laughs> to. See, there are, there are two types of marks. There's, if you catch the ball more than 15 yards on the full, on the fly, and the other mark is what that smother is going to leave on the player who made it. And it comes up now. Kick, uh, let's see. There's a race for it, but the ball is going to get over the boundary first. And it comes out once again. And comes out of the ruck in uh, Vermont hands. He is wrapped up. He's able to. He's got that hands wrapped around him, but he's able to handball it out just before he goes down. And uh, Vermont, here we go. That's a long kick. Looking for, not quite cutting his man as it's an intercept mark there by uh, Nick Parker. He handballs it out wide. And handball back. Cuts inside, loses the ball. And he is wrapped up. He's able to get the handball out, though. Nice job by the Cats. Kind of ski, ski jumps that kick. It's a high pop. And it is marked. So here we go. And I believe that's O'Connell. That'll take that kick. And that's a big high kick. And I think Maine's finally got their first major of the day. And indeed that is the case as everyone's moving back up to center. So they've kicked their first goal of the match and now the Maine Cats lead this one by a score of 1-7-13. And once again, Vermont still yet to crack the scoreboard. But this will be a good chance for them because this way, at least uh, try and get it out of the ruck at midfield as opposed to trying to kick it in away from their own back goal square. As it comes out once again. And the Ruckman line up. And so it goes up and knocked out. No clear advantage yet, but Vermont has it now. They're able to get the clearance. Handball the head, handballed back, and he's got it now. Had to wait for it a little bit, but he's able to field it. And he gets the kick now. And there's a pack forming under the ball. No mark. Ball goes to ground. Cat's trying to get it out of there. Parker handballs it, and it goes off a hand, and he's got it, but he can't. And we've got a whistle, and it looked like. Yeah. Didn't have the ball. He got tackled, so he gets the free kick. So the Cat's with the free kick. And, and it's marked. Goes in. Oh, just behind him, though. And we've got a player going to ground, and he is down. He's, he's Oh, boy, that did not look good. And with it now, I believe that's Will Calvert-Jones. Calvert-Jones has it now. Nice kick, looking for a target. Intercept mark there by Jeremy Hum. And Hum will kick it now, going wide, looking for. Not quite getting his man. Nice job there, picking it out of the air with one hand. He then sells some candy, touches it to the ground, and kicks it ahead. And it's going to be intercept marked, and that will be halftime. Some exciting play there down in the uh, Vermont attacking zone. So far the scoring, it's been all cats. At halftime, the score stands. The main cats, one goal, seven behind, 13 points. And the uh, Vermont Black Diamonds, 
So far, zero. Coming up next, we'll bring you second half action. You're watching the Battle of the Northeast, and you're watching it right here on Stateside Footy. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com, find your team, check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We won the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Are you into retro gadgets? Ta-da! Then here's your dose of old school tech. This is Tech Throwback. Your place to turn for the techno trend from way back when. On Tech Throwback, we look at old computers, classic video games, and all those little doohickeys that used to brighten up your day. Yeah! Tech Throwback can be seen on public access television, or you can check us out online at vimeo.com slash channels slash tech throwback. It's the way we used to compute and play back in the day, and you can watch it anytime on Tech Throwback. Second half action about to begin here between the Vermont Black Diamonds and the main Cats. And right now the Cats leading 1-7-13. And the Black Diamonds so far have yet to score a point. Ball goes up right now and knocked out. And almost to advantage there, almost a clearance for Vermont, but it's taken by the Cats. And they look to move it up ahead now. With it there, that's O'Connell, gets it to Beliveau. Beliveau, handballs, and oh, it goes past his intended target. And let's see, do they still, yeah, they keep it in play. They're able to get it before the ball goes out over the boundary, but then a bit of a grubber, which is intercepted. And here comes Vermont, kick, and let's see, it's gonna be a race for the ball, and it's gonna be taken there by Nick Parker. He is then wrapped up, and the ball is on the ground, holding the ball, it's a free kick. Free kick there for the Vermont Black Diamonds, the newest club on the block, shall we say. Today is their first game. In fact, right now is their first game. And kind of long, but let's see if they can set up a mark inside their attacking zone. And let's see, setting up and marked! Right in front. And so here we go. Vermont's first legitimate shot at goal. Taking his run up, gets it to the boot. That looks pretty straight. And that is the first goal for the Vermont Black Diamonds. Kicked by number 12. We'll figure out who that is as we go along today. But the important thing is they are on the board. And right now they trail by seven. One straight six for the Vermont Black Diamonds. And one seven 13 for the main Cats. And they'll bring it back up to center. And let's see. And, and let's see here. Oh, they're double checking, I think, numbers. And they're just, right now, they're counting heads. So we have to see what's what's going on here. And, and so, Mike, what was that? But they're not going to do the, the so the goal does count. Okay. Just had to check with uh, Mike Shepard from the Demons and from the USAFL, and uh, apparently the. Uh, Vermont Club had one too many players in the back line, but they've settled it out now. Uh, the goal does count, the points do count, and it is a 13-6 game. As comes in, and it is intercept mark. 
Maine looking to kick it ahead. Vermont intercept marks it, and then they try and move it up along the far boundary. Takes a skip and a hop and stays in. And kick, oh, almost marked. That was a great attempt there by Devine. And it's kicked up now. He's under it. Oh, he can't mark it, though. They had a couple of players there. He couldn't mark it, though. And uh, John Newton's in there. Handballed out. And here come the Cats right now. Cats with it. Handball off and almost blocked there by Vermont. And here we go once again. On the move. Here come the Cats. And skies it out to the far boundary. It is marked in defense. And they try and center it up. Takes a hop. And it's taken. And here come the Cats. Handball up. He's going to try and uh, take it right now. He's got it. Oh, not a good kick, though. But he's got it to somebody right in front. He's going to kick it. And he's got the goal. So the Cats gave up the first goal for the Vermont Black Diamonds, but they just got it back and actually got kind of lucky. And we've got uh, a Vermont player crawling off the ground. Oh, that's not good. And so they bring a player off. And, and once again, they're just double checking all the numbers on the ground. Up it goes once again. Hit out. And can Vermont clear it? Looks like they can. Here we go. And Helm's got it now. He gets it to the boot. He's just going to kick it looking for somebody on the far boundary. And almost uh, picked up there by Nick Parker. He's got it now. And he's going to kick it along the far boundary. And it can't quite uh, get anyone to catch it. However, it does roll. And that's a fortuitous bounce for the Cats. Here we go once again. Cats in their attacking zone. And let's see here. It's going to stop and bounce. And oh, here we go. And, oh, one of the uh, Vermont players had it. He's wrapped up, but he gets the handball off. And Vermont's going to bring it right back, looking to go a little bit up the corridor, at least for now. Here comes the kick, and it takes a bounce, a couple of bounces, and winds up in the hands of Jeremy Hum for the Cats. And he's going to move it ahead and kick it right there. And, and try and soccer it off the deck, try and move it forward, the Cats. However, Vermont with it now. And he is wrapped up, and he is dispossessed. And it's a free kick for the Cats, holding the ball. So that'll be Beliveau with it now. And Beliveau kicks it ahead, and it's going to take a bounce and wind up in the hands of Jeremy Hum once again. He just spears one. Oh, goes over the head. But he's got it, though. And... They handball it back, and that kick is smothered as the Cats try to kick it further toward goal. Smothered, bounced off one of the uh, Vermont players and rolls out, so it's going to be a boundary throw in. And the throw in comes up. Ruck's going at it. Hit out, and the Cats will have it now. Kick, just a rolling ball by the goals, and who's going to get there first? And that's a goal! Chipped off the deck. Maine with another one. 3-7-25 now. The Cats had numbers in close. One of them just able to get a boot to the loose ball on the ground. I believe the goal kicked by number 17. As he gets tossed up once again. And hit out, almost to advantage there, but uh, Vermont can't quite get the clearance. Oh, Jeremy Hum almost sells the candy, but uh, so it just gets a hold of his jumper. And let's see. Oh, we got a free kick. Free kick, Vermont. And that's a high kick. Almost a mark, bounces off a couple of hands. In and loose, and Katz getting numbers around the ball. And he's able to sell some candy and get loose, get the kick out. And that's going to go right over to pretty much the Katz interchange area. So that'll go out of bounds, that'll be a boundary throw in. 25-6 right now in favor of the main Katz. As we continue through this second half. 
And kicked ahead. With it now, Calvert Jones. And it's marked. And there we go. Calvert Jones has it now. Calvert Jones gets some room, gets a kick in. And I believe it looked like they might have gone just a little wide. Whoop. <laughs> Normally it's the kicks for goal that bounce off the goal post, not the uh, kicks out bringing it back to center. So it's going back to center. So that is indeed a goal. So that's the second major score for the Vermont. The Black Diamonds. Will Calvert-Jones with the kick there and the goal. And so right now it's 25 to 12. Question is now, can Vermont build on this? Or will the Cats come right back with another goal like they did last time? In fact, they came back with two goals. And they come out of it once again. They almost had the clearance. Here we go. Handball goes up. And it goes wide. And he's able to pick it up now. And he gets clear. And here we go. He moves it, touches the ground, and kicks it in toward the goals. And let's see. It's not going to be marked. It's going to bounce. But one of the Cats has it now. He handballs it off. And another Cat has it. He's spun around a couple of times. He has held. And... That blew the whistle. He's about to get the handball off, but it was like two full revolutions. And the umpire's like, nope, come on, that's ball. Free kick. Let's go. So a free kick to the Black Diamonds. Good defense there. And now they kick it up. And, oh, that is marked. That is a nice mark. It was going over his head. He was able to get up and just get his hands up. Kick there now. And let's see. who It's going to go through a bunch of players before it goes to ground. And it's handballed off. And here come the Cats once again. Maine. Just a little bit of a tip kick there, and that is marked in defense. And the Cats will just, I'm sorry, the uh, Black Diamond will just move it forward now. And then Jeremy Hum, intercept marked for the Cats. He's looking for a target along the final boundary. He's got one. That's Nick Parker, and he'll mark it. And then he will just blast it forward. That's going to take a skip and a hop, and bounce through a couple of people. Handballed off, and here we go. With it now is O'Connell. O'Connell, that's a big, long kick, and that looks to be going a little wide. And let's see here. Kept in play. Nice job there, keeping it in play. He's wrapped up, and he is down, and tweet, ball. Another free kick. And the Black Diamonds getting uh, rewarded for another tackle there. And kicked ahead. Oh, it takes a little bit of a skip. Picked up by the Cats there, though. They're going to look to turn it back in, maybe try and turn this into a seven-point play. Oh, he cannot pick it up, though. That's Beliveau. Beliveau wrapped up. He loses the ball. Ball is loose. And let's see, we've got a whistle. And another free kick going to Vermont. And so according to, I think the umpire was indicating a throw there. Handballed over. Oh, he drops it, gets it now. Gets it to the boot, that's a high kick. Let's see here. Newton almost picks it up. Newton has it now, handball's off, comes loose to the side, and oh, it won't quite sit for him, but he's able to move it ahead. And it's gonna go out, and did that go out on the full off his boot? Or is that a boundary throw in? That's gonna be a boundary throw in. And it goes up, and hit out. No clearance yet. Devine has it now, and here we go, coming out of the stoppage, it's the Cats. Big kick, right up the middle. He's got it now. He's just going to stop. Let some, let some uh, numbers move ahead. And, oh, that is marked. He had a man right on him. And he was able to look out, go to the side, and just pick that one up. Question is, he's setting up for that kick right now. Will that kick have the journey from here? It is smothered. Once again, Vermont showing up with defense. And it goes to Calvert-Jones now. Calvert-Jones running it through the corridor. He gets it to the boot now. Looking for and almost getting here's his target, but uh, bounces off into the hands of Nick Parker now. Parker to Hum, far boundary. Hum kicks in, spears a kick. He's got it. Cats just moving it forward now. And they're looking for a target up front. Punched away by Vermont. Loose ball, and it won't quite sit for him. Ball still on the ground. And... Vermont not giving this up yet, showing some nice defense. And we've got a whistle, and I believe. 
get the ping there. And Vermont gets the free kick. Kick now up through, and it's going to take a skip and a jump and go through a couple of players. And the Cats pick it up, though. That kick's going to sail to the far boundary, it looks like. And it's intercept marked there by Vermont. And they're just going to kick it ahead now, looking for some targets. Looks like the Cats may have numbers around the ball. Oh, what a mark that was! What a mark! In the middle of traffic, just reached up and pulled that down. That was a terrific mark. And here we go. Another shot at goal. <coughs> Starts to take his run up. Gets it to the boot. That's going to be wide. And that's going to go through for a behind. That's the first single point. 2-1-13. Now they trail by two straight kicks. And the kick in taken by the Cats. And they move it up now. And Hum's got it now. Jeremy Hum up the far boundary. It's marked. Cats on the move. And let's see. And here we go. Mark taken by the Cats. And he's looking for a centering ball. Almost marked. Kicked ahead. Nice smother there. Vermont once again playing some stingy defense. And we've got another whistle. And how will this one be adjudicated? It'll be a free kick, it looks like, to the Cats. So Maine with a chance to increase their lead right now. Currently they're up by two straight kicks. And they're just uh, making sure the kicker's got the angle right. And the kick goes up. And it looks like that's going to go across the face. And and that's actually, let's see. It's a free kick right there. So the kick did go out on the full. And so, Vermont will have it. And that's a nice little kick. And bounce off a few players. A few players bounce off each other. And here, come, here comes Vermont now. And we've got a whistle. And it looks like, oh boy. They need medical attention. They, they're calling the uh, medical staff. We don't have a Oh, they're calling, well, somebody. We've got a player down. So we're going to be stopping the clock here for a moment. Bunch of players went in for that one, basically uh, looking to take a pack mark. Bunch of players collided with each other. And one of them didn't land too well, and it's not looking really good right now. And uh, oh, he's going to be, just be chaired off the ground. And it's one of the cats. All right, so uh, we're just about to get back to action now. And the free kick will be going to the Vermont Black Diamonds. And right now they still trail by two straight kicks. All right, so going to make sure everyone's back in place. Not sure if the umpires have called time on yet. I think they're about to. Time on calls the umpire. He blows the whistle, says play on. Here we go. And kick coming out, and it's going to take a bounce. Go past everybody. And right into the hands of Calvert Jones. Calvert Jones handballs it off. Or does he? No. He was just about to get steamrolled from behind. And the Cats will get the free kick. And they'll bring it right back to their side of the ground. Hum's got it now. He kicks it out. Far boundary. Looking for it. Not quite getting P.J. Devine. It bounces off his hands. And he's still trying to pick it up. He's got it now. And he'll kick it ahead. Kicks it over the head of his uh, intended target, though. A couple of players battling for it now. Handballed back. And here come the Cats. Moving right up the middle. Race for it. He's got it now. Able to get past the tackle attempt. Moving in. Oh, and he handballs it off. I don't think the other player was expecting it. And Calvert Jones comes out there now, and he is wrapped up, taken out of bounds. 
Another big defensive stand there by the Vermont club. And actually, let's see, is that uh, yeah, setting up? They're just throwing it in now. And winds up in Vermont hands. He is wrapped up by two players, dispossessed. And that is ball. That'll be a free kick for the Maine Cats. So Vermont doing a good job right now thwarting Maine and Maine's attacking area. However, they haven't been able to make it to translate into points at the other end of the ground. And now Maine will have another chance to put some more on the board. And that kick going wide and bouncing and just punched out. And it'll go out of bounds. And, and it'll be thrown in. Coming out now and Cats will have it. He is wrapped up just as he gets the ball. No prior says the umpire play on. And now there's just a big scrum at the bottom of the ground. Ball's out. And Calvert Jones gets it out now. And it's kicked right into the hands. Oh, Jeremy Hum can't take the intercept mark. He's able to move past an attacker, though. And then he kicks it wide looking for P.J. Devine or Beliveau. Beliveau is able to pick it up now. Beliveau on the move with it. Stops. And he is wrapped up. Tweet, ball, and a free kick once again to Vermont. So a couple of times, Maine has had the opportunity to put this one away. And Vermont has thwarted them and has stayed in this thing. And Hum once again takes the intercept mark. And he's just going to turn it right back around into attack. Uh, to the far boundary. Kick looking for, not quite getting Beliveau. It goes to ground. He gets up, though. Handball's off to Devine. And then Devine kicks it further up. And it's going to skip around and still stay in play. Kicked off the deck into one of the Cats' chest, basically. And then a couple players going to ground. And oh boy, there is a rip to ground there. It'll be holding the ball. And actually, let's see. And I think the free kick is going to. Let's see, it's going to Vermont. He kicks it up now and he's trying to get a sit for him. He does, he picks it up now, handball's off. And then, oh, he's able to cut inside, but then dispossessed. And here come the Cats with it now. Cats on the move. Kick far. And, and we've got a whistle and a free kick. Player was prevented from getting into the marking contest, so they get the free kick. He handballs it off now. Parker. Parker with a line drive kick. Goes over a set of hands and will be picked up by nobody, <laughs> by nobody actually, as it's uh, kicked up. Kick goes in, though, and that's going to be bending, and that's, it looks like that's going to be another point. Another point for the main Cats. But an important point, because now they lead by two goals, one. So now Vermont would need three scoring shots to at least tie, if not overtake them, as they take the kick in from their own back goal square. And it's tapped out. Cats get it back, though. And he just spears it in, looking for not quite getting his man. It's going to be tapped out to the boundary, roll out, and we'll have another boundary throw in. Almost the end of this one here. 3-8-26 for the main Cats. 2-1-13 for Vermont as it's tossed back in. Vermont looking to take it out right now. Kicked up the ground and into the hands of Maine, and they will bring it right back. They'll turn it around into attack, and he take, almost marks it. It does sit for him, but then he's wrapped up. He gets the handball off, tapped out, and with it now is Beliveau. Beliveau takes a uh, couple of moves, and we've got a whistle and holding the ball, and another free kick going to Vermont. And they're just going to kick it up looking for... Oh, they can't quite get it to Calvert Jones, but Raham can't take it either. And that's full time before we can get any further with it. And the Maine Cats celebrate their first victory of their inaugural season. At least I think that's their first victory. It is. Thank you very much, folks. And uh, the final score, the Maine Cats, 3-8-26. Three, three goals, eight behinds, 26 points. And the Vermont Black Diamonds, two goals, one behind, 13 points. And, well, the game's over, but the show most certainly isn't. We still have another game to bring you. Coming up next, the Quebec Saints and the Boston Demons will enter the fray. More Aussie Rules football is coming your way next, right here on Stateside Footy.
Are you into retro gadgets? Ta-da! Then here's your dose of old school tech. This is Tech Throwback, your place to turn for the techno trend from way back when. On Tech Throwback, we look at old computers, classic video games, and all those little doohickeys that used to brighten up your day. Yeah! Tech Throwback can be seen on public access television, or you can check us out online at vimeo.com slash channels slash tech throwback. It's the way we used to compute and play back in the day, and you can watch it anytime on Tech Throwback. And we're above our, well, and the ball goes up, and we have footy. <laughs> Bit of a crazy wreck contest there. P.J. Devine coming out with it now. And Jeremy Hum, dispossessed, brought to ground. And we've got a free kick. Looks to be a ball. And an early free kick there for Quebec. Going in, almost marked there. Tommy Ivester in defense there. The mark almost taken there by a number 25. That's a Morgan White for Quebec. Up it goes now, and... Goes through everybody. And taken there at number 54. That's a Jacine Bausch. I have no idea. Sorry, I completely butchered your name, I think. But uh, maybe we can check on a proper pronunciation. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, kick goes in uh, smothered there. Far boundary. He tries to pick it up and go with it again. And it winds up just going to ground. There's a race for it there. And... One of the Saints almost picks it up there, taken down by number seven. That's Jake Hewitt for the Demons. And Quebec looking to move it further. Taken by the Demons, and it goes now to Nick Parker. Parker tried to handball it ahead, kicked off the deck, looking for a Demon, almost got it. And let's see, handball goes off now. And, oh, almost kicked there by Hewitt. Quebec kicking in toward the goals, and that's going to skip, and that's going to go. Looks to be, uh, that's a point. So Quebec with the first point of the match. And right now it's one. The kick is marked. Marked there by uh, White once again. White kicks it ahead, and all bounces off the hands of one of the Demons. And here we go. All the way back, and Demons look to bring it back up to ground. Quebec's got it once again. Kick there, and let's see, that's a, that's a goal. I believe that was number 17 that kicked it there. That was Simon Chamberlain. Oh, that's, a, that's a goal. So Chamberlain with the goal. And so it's the old seven-point play. Quebec going ahead now. By a score of seven to nothing, they got the first behind there. Kick in was taken, and then they just picked it right back up, fired it right back in. Chamberlain had the goal, and now it's 1-1-7 for the Quebec Saints. Nothing so far for the Boston Demons as it's taken out once again. Kicked up there. Once again, that's uh, Baouche or Bauche. I promise we will look into that. Quebec moving it forward now. That's Chamberlain. He's just got the goal. Handballs it ahead, and he tries to handball it ahead. Runs into a brick wall. And they kick it up the, uh, looking for Dean Schwab. Takes a bounce, it's gonna wind up going out of bounds. Still at midfield though, so that'll be a good result for the Demons. As it was kicked in there by uh, Jake Hewitt. Thrown in there, and caught by uh, Jeremy Hum. No redo, Garofalo trying to pick it up. He just soccers it off the deck, and picking it up there is number 31, Phil Manassa. And that kick is going to be not quite marked. It takes a weird bounce with it there. Thomas, Tommy Ivester just punches it ahead. Gets it to Jeremy Hum now. Hum handballs it. That is blocked. Taken away by the Saints. Quebec moving it once again. That's a handball. Goes right to Chamberlain now. Chamberlain looking for and getting his target. That's the number 22 there. That is uh, Greg Bridges. Bridges now taking it. Just moving. And that kick is bending back. And that's going to be touched. I think he got it right before it was touched. Got it right before it went through, so it'll be a minor score. Nice attempt by Quebec, but they just couldn't uh, put the finish on it there as it was touched. And the kick in taken now by Parker and almost marked there uh, by Pat Keene, wearing number four for the Demons. And let's see, we've got a whistle here. I believe it went out of bounds, so we're going to have a boundary throw in.
And coming out, no one's got a clear possession yet. Quebec tries to soccer it off the deck. Battle for it now, Hewlett in there. He's had a few possessions so far. And here we go, here comes Quebec with it now. And they handball it ahead, looking for, not quite getting their man as it's intercepted there by Nick Parker. And he blasts it right out, looking for Matty Garofalo. It's gonna take a weird bounce though. Wind up in demon hands though. And he'll just handball it ahead, and that is stolen. And he handballs it off. Oh, he can't hold on to it though. Quebec moving it back into attack. Kick, cross. And that's taken by White. White kicks it. And it's going to take a skip and just die right there as it lands on the flat spot of the ball. He handballs it over. That's taken by Hewlett. Hewlett wrapped up. He's able to get it to the boot, though. Taken back, though, by Quebec. And they kick it, and they're moving further up. And Quebec back there now. And they kick it up, and marked by White. He had Ivester right on him, but White able to pick it up. He kicks it ahead now. Got a man in space. He's got him. Can't see his jumper number, but uh, Quebec moving with it again. And the kick, that is marked. By the way, that was uh, Simon Chamberlain with another possession there as he took that, took that kick. And now once again, it goes to uh, Jacine Baouche. And he kicks it and uh, kind of spears it in. And it's knocked away. Parker once again. And that's going to be punched through one of the sticks, and that's going to be another point. So that's another point for the Quebec Footy Club. And now they lead the Boston Demons by a score of 139 to uh, Nero. Nero <laughs> yeah, zero or nil, not Nero. As the Demons get it, though, I have the kick out, and they try and kick it up the far boundary. That is intercept mark there. That's Phil Manasseh. Manasseh has it now. And, oh, that is marked. That is a nice mark there by Elliot Kempster. And he kicks it ahead now. And it's going to bounce past a couple of hands. It'll go right toward the sticks. And let's see. Parker's in there. And he's still battling. And it's just going to go out. There's going to be a boundary throw in. Nice work on the back line there by Nick Parker for the Boston Demons. And it's thrown in. Goes to ground, and kick goes in, he sprays it. Kick there, number 53, that's Lawrence Merce. And he has sprayed it to the left. Still another point for the Saints though, and they now lead by a score of 1-4-10. Demons still yet to get either on the board or pretty much on their side of the ground. As it comes out once again, kick in, winds up in Quebec hands again. They're just gonna turn it right back around into attack. Pack is forming under the ball, punched out there. And then into the hands of Chamberlain. He's got a go already. And it is touched. Nice job there. However, they've got a couple of players in front. Oh, it won't sit for him. And he has wrapped up. And that's going to be a ball up. No, actually, no. Claim he caught him in the back as part of that uh, pile. So as a result, Quebec's going to get the free kick. And a shot on goal. And that's now 53, Lawrence Merce. They're just setting him up, make sure he's got the right angle. Stepping back a couple more. And that looks pretty straight. And let's see. He hooked it around the goal post. That's a goal. And another major score for the Quebec Saints, who now lead this 16 to nothing. Two goals, four behind, 16 points for the Saints. As they bring it back up to the middle. Just a reminder, you're all watching Stateside Footy. You can watch us on cable and online. Just visit our Vimeo site at Stateside Footy TV. That's our Vimeo slash channels slash stateside footy tv and also visit us online statesidefootytv.com as he comes back up and out of the ruck taken by jeremy hum now and he kicks it in a high high kick heading for the near boundary dean schwab is there he can't take the mark though there's going to be a race for it however the ball will skip over the boundary before anyone gets there so it'll be a boundary throw in still on the demons half of the ground though so we'll see if they can move forward from there as the ball goes up 
Knocked out of the ruck, and the Saints have it. He is wrapped up, though. And let's see, we've got a whistle. And Jeremy Hummel got the free kick. And he's going to kick it out wide. And there we go. Uh, to number 16, who's uh, that's Will Calvert Jones. Kicks it now. And almost, yep, an intercept mark. They'll pay it. Intercept mark there by Quebec. And it looks like it's going to be coming back the other way. Kick up the far boundary. Calvert Jones marks it. Calvert Jones with the intercept mark there. He's just going to kick it back to Hum. And Hum's going to let fly. And let's see. Oh, intercept mark there. They had Dean Schwab lined up at the last second. One of the Quebec players jumped ahead and marked it. And he kicks it. His kick is, is marked. And speared ahead. And that's another mark. I believe that's number 15. That's Arthur Marshall. He's still got it. And let's see here. Kicked up. And oh, can't quite mark it. Going back there now. Just trying to move with it there. That's uh, Nick Parker. Bauche has it now, and kicked ahead all over Garofalo's head. Picked up there by Calvert Jones. Calvert Jones handballs it, and here comes, oh, he is tripped up and holding the ball. Ben Verge had it, tried to move with it, not quite. And Bauche almost had it once again. He is dispossessed. Chamberlain now, handballs out, and Quebec will move it. Up the ground. Intercept mark there by Jeremy Hum. He jumped in front of the kick and just tossed it up. <coughs> kick marked on the far wing. And the Demons have it now. Still. And the kick up the far boundary. Looking for it. Not quite getting his man. It looked like they were going for Newton there. And the ball bounces. Quebec has it. And kick coming out. It's going to take a bounce. Bausch has it now, and kicks it back, and that's a mark. Uh, no, he didn't blow the whistle. Oh, well, no one touched him. <coughs> <coughs> Damn it. And with it now, they're, oh, trying to get, I believe that was the verge. And that's uh, holding the ball, which is too bad, because he was on the verge of kicking something. But not quite as it gets wrapped up from behind. Gets pinged for holding the ball, and the free kick will go to Quebec. And they just kick it back now. They've got their mark. And I believe that's number 12, Corey Crawford. He's going to kick it ahead now, and it looks, looks like, uh, let's see, it's going to skip out. I believe that's out on the full, so the Demons will have the free kick. As the winds pick up once again here. And kick the head. And goes off a couple of sets of hands. Who's going to get there first? It's going to be a race for the ball. Quebec will get there. No, he can't pick it up. And Newton tries to kick it out. And, oh, another player has these wrapped up right now. But no prior, I don't think. They should ball that up. 32 is the number. And that's, uh, that's Mark DeVoe. And it's going to be balled up. There was no prior opportunity. So the Demons with a good opportunity here if they can get the clearance. They can't, though, and Quebec will take it. He handballs it over, and the Saints will bring it back up through. Here we go. Oh, no-look handball. That was sweet. Kicked up the uh, near wing now. And a couple of players going to ground with it now. That's Ivester. Ivester gets past Hum. Takes a running bounce. Back now. Tries to get. Oh, Hum wasn't really looking for it there. And then he's caught high a couple of times, actually. And... I think he's going to finally get the uh, free kick as he was caught high on that tackle attempt. So it'll be a high tackle. And Hum will kick it now. Basically the call is go fetch, looking for Dan O'Connell. And he gets it, but then gets, actually doesn't quite get it. And the ball goes out of bounds. That'll be a boundary throw in. Midpoint of the uh, first uh, half of action here. And so far, it's 16 for Quebec, zero for Boston, but Boston trying to work it, and they're attacking into the ground. And it goes up once again, and tipped, and no clear possession yet. He's got it now. Oh, tries to kick it, just uh, dispossessed before he could get it to the boot. And Quebec now kicks it, and it's a game of go fetch. 
and Iverster's there. Iverster shepherds his man off the ball, goes to ground though, and it's picked up by the Saints. Number nine there with it now. That is uh, Elliot Kempster, and it goes off now. And here we go. That's Bogdan Rotaru. Rotaru. Oh, he tries a running bounce. Oh, bobbles it, but he still got it. And now he handballs it off, and the kick in toward the sticks, and it looks like that's going to be a behind. So that's two five seventeen now. Nope, actually nope, it's out on the full. Free kick for the Demons, back pocket. And kick goes up and almost marked there by the Saints. Battle for it at midfield now. I believe Devine was in there trying to get it. And Quebec now kicking it forward and that's another goal. Did you, see, did you see who kicked that? It was, okay. Not sure who kicked that one. I saw a couple of players celebrating afterwards, but the important part is 3 4 22 now. That's for Quebec. And Demons right now still yet to crack the scoreboard. As they go back to center once again. Whoop. And after uh, Iverster taps it to Hum, it goes to the Demon's end of the ground. But then, oh, that's high. High tackle there on a number four that's Pat Keen. Keen a far ways out, but he's going to take his free kick. Takes his run up, and that's a line drive. Could that have the carry? It does, but not the aim. But the Demons have their first points of the match. One behind one now for the Boston crew. crew. And Quebec, 3-4-22. And they'll take the kick in from their own back goal square. And it comes in here. And a couple of players going after it there. A couple of Quebec players trying to mark it, and uh, not quite. So, ball will go out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. Tossed up and hit out by Ivester, and over to Pat, over to Divine. Oh, that is a big kick, and let's see. Oh, Mark just on the doorstep by the Saints, and they're going to bring it back now and turn it right around into attack. High kick there. Oh, he's able to bounce it off the ground and get it back. Nice little bit of uh, magic there by the Saints. As it goes to ground, Demons have numbers, but Quebec has the ball. And kicked ahead now, looking for. Not quite getting as mad as it's taken by the Demons. Kicked wide. Oh, D Hum almost had it. Then he tries to kick it. It's smothered. And Calvert-Jones gets it back to Hum now. Hum spears it in. Almost marked by Garofalo. He handballs out to... Oh, he's wrapped up, and that's holding the ball. That's Ben Thiverge once again. Quebec taking the free kick and knocking it back to their end of the ground. And it's going to skip and roll. And then kick the head. Let's see. Knocked out. Loose ball. Soccer off the ground. Nice job there. They got it right to Jeremy Hum. Hum now kicking across the ground. And here we go. It's Pat now with it. Pat Keen. He kicks ahead, and that is marked. That's Calvert-Jones with it now. Will Calvert-Jones looking for some numbers in front. Kicks it there. He has his man in space. Newton's got it. Newton has the mark. This is well within scoring range for John Newton. A couple of games ago, Newton had six goals against the main Cats. Let's see what he can do here. And that looks like it's going to go straight. That's a goal. Goal for Newton. Two straight scoring, scoring shots for the Boston Demons. And now they're in this one. 3-4-22 for Quebec. 1-1-7 for the Boston Demons as we get to the latter part of this first half.
Stace, how's the battery doing? Okay. All right. And up it goes again. Knocked out. And let's see. Ivester trying to work it out, trying to get the clearance. And pretty much a battle straight, straight up there. Straight fire with Aaron Stone. So the Empire calls for it. They're just going to bog it up again. And the two rucks getting in position. And hit out. Takes a Bostonian friendly bounce. However, Quebec might have been there first. Trying to get it there. Oh, trying to handball it. Almost intercepted. But then we've got a halftime whistle there. Just as Quebec looked like they were starting to run with it once again. So there we are at halftime. And the score at the half. The Quebec Saints, three goals, four behind, 22 points. And the Boston Demons, one goal, one behind, seven points. Coming up next, we'll bring you second period action. You're watching Stateside Footy. Australian rules football in the U.S.? That's right. The United States Australian Football League is in a city near you. Go to USAFL.com, find your team, check them out. We're a group full of men and women just like you. Join us for the fun athletic competition. Stay for the camaraderie. We want the champion! Log on and sign up to join your team at USAFL.com. Second half about to get underway between these two clubs here, the Boston Demons and the Quebec Saints. And right now the Saints have the clear advantage with a score of 3-5-23 against the Demons 1-1-7. Now at the half we said it was 3-4-22, but after a quick uh, conference with the umpire, uh, we did forget one uh, minor score for the Quebec Saints. So uh, we are adjusting our score. And right now the score is 3-5-23 to 1-1-7 as the Quebec Saints come back on the ground. And a big event today. This is the Battle of the Northeast, and we've got four clubs today. We've got uh, three from the states, actually one from north of the border, as we see them right there, the Quebec Saints. Uh, the New England teams here today. We've got the Boston Demons, obviously, and the Maine Cats, in the, still in the midst of their inaugural season. Oh, and by the way, playing their first game today, the Vermont Black Diamonds. So we've got a new club today, and a big action here at Shelburne Community School in Shelburne, Vermont. Of course, uh, one of the uh, main members of the uh, Black Diamonds, former Boston Demons captain, Damian Hallam. And we're here today in Vermont, and they are about to start play here. As the umpire takes the whistle, calls time on, and throws it up, and here we go. Second half action between the Demons and the Saints, and it's hit out, and the Saints kicking it ahead there after the Demons look to get the quick clearance. Jeremy Hum has it now. He tries to handball it, handballs it back to himself actually, and then gets it to Tommy Ivester. And Ivester just kicks it up the middle and almost intercept mark there by the Saints. It's dropped again and he picks it up again. He is dispossessed. He's able to kick it off the deck though over to one of his teammates there. And that's going to go through and be knocked out. Ivester once again punching it out. And let's see here. Oh, it's still in though. White has it now. Morgan White takes a kick and that goes across the face, and that's going to be a behind, I think. That winds up being a minor score. Indeed it does, so now it's a 3-6-24. So what's 3-5-23, now 3-6-24. And kicked up, and all oh, right there. P.J. Devine marked after the kick-in. And Devine kicking up and looking for and getting his man. And that's kicked up now. Race for it. It's going to bounce. 
And the Demons have numbers. Schwab's got it now, and but he can't stop himself when he runs out of bounds. Boundary throw in on the Demons' end of the ground. 24-7 to right now in favor of Quebec as they get set to toss it in. And the ball goes up there, and the Rucks go after it, and it's punched out. And Ivester's got it now after a little bit of a battle there with uh, number 26, Aaron Stone. And we've got a whistle. And looks like it's going to be a ball up as the ball got tied up. And, whoop, we've got a free kick. And that's going to Stone of the uh, Quebec Saints after a ruck infringement. He kicks the ball now, looking for and getting. It's a little bit of a juggle, but he gets his man there. That's number 25. That's Morgan White. And he's kicking it now, looking for, I well, tried to get it to uh, Bausch. And Hum has it now. Hum handballs to Calvert Jones. Calvert Jones kicks it ahead and just goes over the outstretched hands of the Verge. He's got it now. Handball to Schwab, just goes past his outstretched hands. He's got it now, though. Schwab kicked in toward the goal area and almost marked. Loose ball. Who's going to get there first? I think Newman tried to, uh, sorry, Newton tried to punch it ahead there. And free kick. Free kick for Stretch Newton. Newton's got one goal already. Could this be number two? Newman's been a big goal kick. Newton's been a big goal kicker for this uh, this club this year. John Stretch Newton. And let's see. Kicks it through. And. I think everyone's heading back. Let's see. They've got somebody setting up in the goal square, though, so I believe that's a minor score for the Demons. In fact, it is as they're going to take the kick in. So now it's 1 2 8 for the Bostonians. And Quebec looking to send someone deep. Oh, no, he's just going to kick it to himself. And then he sends it deep. Big kick heading out to the far boundary. And it'll be marked by the Demons, and they'll turn it right around. I believe that's Ivester with it now. And he's kicking it, looking for. And. Oh, no, play on. As they try to get it there to uh, number five, that's Dan O'Connell. Comes out now, handballed over. Hum's got it now. Jeremy Hum gets it to the boot. Kicking it over on the wing. Oh, it takes a weird bounce, but it's going to stay for him there. And that's O'Connell with it once again. He's going to sell the candy, get past his man. Handball off, and they move it up ahead now. And uh, DeVoe has it there. Now it's Schwab. Schwab, oh, sprays that kick toward the goals. And... It's marked by Newton. Newton gets another shot at it. Stretch Newton. And takes his run up. And he kicks straight. That's a goal. So now the Demons tra trail by 10 points, 24 to 14. 2 2 14 now for the Demons. 3 6 24 for the Quebec Saints. And it'll come back. And once again, as you can no doubt hear, the wind's howling here at Shelburne Community School. Just a little bit, says our camera person, Stacy Robert. Just a little bit. Or she was doing the old kids in the hall thing where she's like squashing my head. Hopefully, she's talking about the wind. So, let's see here. Ball goes up and knocked out. Nice hit out there to advantage. And the clearance going to the Demons. And almost taken there by Thiverge. And he is taken off the ball. And is that going to be out of bounds? Or should that, that should be a free kick. It is going to be a free kick. Because the verge was taken down. He didn't have the ball. He handballs it back now. And then that's just going to be kicked ahead. Looking for. Oh, not quite getting Newton. It's intercept mark there. And uh, for the Saints there, that's uh, Olivier Laurier Bernard. So Bernard with a big kick. And it goes off a set of hands. Handballed up. And with it there, that's White. White being pursued by P.J. Devine. And it is marked there. He's, he's going to stop and play, actually. That's a 53. That's Lawrence Mercer once again. He's going to stop and uh, take his free kick. And he just kicked it to the middle, 
and it goes through everybody. Demons pick it up in defense, and they try and handball it off. And that goes to P.J. Devine, now handballed off, and it goes back to Calvert Jones. Back to Hum now. Hum. <laughs> Handballs. And it comes back up toward this end. Calvert Jones marks it. And it's kicked up ahead, and oh, he can't hold it. Almost intercept Mark Derry. Just couldn't hang on to it, but then he picks it up off of the uh, ground. That's uh, number 31 there. That's uh, Phil Manasso once again. And he kicks it to Morgan White, who marks it. So White, long way out. Let's see what he can do here. Will he let, will he let it fly? That looks pretty good, but it's, uh, let's see. It's going wide, it looks like. And that is going to be a single point. So that's 3 7 25 now. They lead by 11. Kick in. Oh, that is marked there by Pat Keen. That's beautiful. Nice big kick out of that kick in. And Keen kicking up the uh, boundary. Spoiled, and it goes out of bounds. Tried to get it to Dean Schwab. The kick there spoiled by Manasseh. That's going to be a throw in. Uh, stop, and the Rocks will go after it, and it'll just go to ground and punch the head in the end by the Saints, and then kick the head, looking for, not quite getting their man, but they pick it up and try to handball it off. Saints with it once again. He is wrapped up. He is brought down. Ball is loose, and we've got a whistle. And, and it looks like the free kick will be going to Jake Hewlett. And just a big kick into the middle of a couple of Saints, and it'll be intercept marked there. Elliot Kempster for Quebec. Marked. And that's Merce. That's a big kick, but that's bending. The wind's got it, and it's going to go go through for a behind. 3-8-26 now, and they'll take the kick in. And once again, marked by Keene. And let's see. Oh, there's intercept marked. Went a little over Tommy Ivester. Wound up in the hands of Aaron Stone. And Stone, just looking for a centering ball. It's marked. And that's Kempster with it again. And they're telling Kempster to just let fly. And that's a big kick. And once again, the wind's got it. And almost marked by the uh, Saints. And then let's see. Kick the head. And it looks like that'll be another point. And it's far boundary. Looks like that'll be out on the full. So that'll be a free kick to the Saints. 3-9-27 now as the kick comes in. And intercept marked there by Jeremy Hum. And he plays on, kicks it right to the hands of the uh, Saints. And they'll look to move it back. Kick in toward the goals, takes the bounce, and gets behind Parker. And let's see. Was it touched? It was touched. So it's 3-10-28 now. And marked by Ivester off the kick in. That's Nick Parker to Tommy Ivester. And then that's touched. Oh, no, sorry. I thought, I thought it was touched, but they pay the mark. And he kicks it now, and Schwab marks it. Dean Schwab with it right now, near boundary, right in front of our commentary position. He'll kick it up now, looking for not quite getting DeVoe. And as a result, it goes back the other way now. And here comes this. Oh, Kempster has it now after a bounce. And then Kempster kicks it ahead. And 
Intercept mark there. Nice job there by Jake Hewlett. And Hewlett will move it ahead, but he will kick it all, all, almost right into Demon Hand, under uh, St. Hands. But then Devine get, I'm sorry, Parker gets it, then gets it up to Keene. And that is marked. Calvert Jones back to Keene. Keene stops, sells some candy, gets it to the boot, looking for, and not quite getting Dean Schwab. And it's going to be a race to the boundary, and actually the ball's going to win that race as it goes over the boundary. As a result, we'll have a boundary throw in. Good result for the Demons, though, as it's uh, pretty deep in their attacking territory. And they've lucked out that the last few Saints scoring shots have all been minors. As it comes out of the ruck with it now, Keen handballs over to Devine. Devine, his kick is smothered off the, back, off the deck there. Keen tries to get it, gets wrapped up. And here we go now, kick in. Oh, that is smothered as well. They've had a couple of opportunities. Demons trying to move it back now. And here come the Saints again. Oh, a little bit of a fend off there. Kicked, centered through the ground. And, oh, that just sits right for him. He kicks it now wide. Saints are on the move. It's going to go over his hands and skip out of bounds. Still a good result, though. It's in the uh, Saints attacking portion of the ground, so that'll be a good result for them. And it goes up, and doesn't go very far. Hum has it now. He's wrapped up. Handball's back, looking for Ivester. And it goes out of bounds once again, so it'll be another throw in. Headed to the latter stages of this second half. And Demons need points, and they need them right now as Hum tries to move it ahead. Goes to Ivester now. Ivester with a kick. And it's going to kind of stay there and die in the wind. And it's going to be marked, uh, intercept marked there by Simon Chamberlain. Chamberlain has one of the three Quebec goals. And he kicks it ahead now, looking for. And oh my goodness, what a mark that was. In traffic, jumping up behind him, getting those arms up. That's number nine. That's Elliot Kempster. So Kempster with a shot for the uh, Saints now. And his kick goes and... Here a few claps. And that's going to bring it up back to center, so that will be a goal. 4 10 34 now for the Saints. The Demons now trail by 20, 4 10 34 to 2 2 14. And then we'll toss it up again and knock it out. And out of the uh, ruck goes from uh, Ivester to Keene, who then gets it out to Jeremy Hum, looking for Newton, getting Newton. He's already got two. Could this be a third for the man they call Stretch? Bit of a distance there. He's at an angle. Definitely not out of range for him. And that kick looks pretty good. That is dead on. And now it's 3 2 20 for the Demons. As Newton kicks goal number three. And they'll bring it back up to center. As we see a. Uh, Meaning of the minds in the middle of the ground there between uh, longtime demons Mike Shepard and Damian Hallam. And hit out. And actually, oh, almost taking the clearance there. The demons, Keen now, handballing over to Calvert Jones. Kicks it up and, oh, can't get it to The Verge. Ball is still in play. The Verge trying to pick it up. He gets it now over to Calvert Jones. Calvert Jones with a kick, looking for, not quite getting his man, but then, oh, here we go. It's a race. And is he going to be picked up? He's able to get around a couple of players. Handball's back. And we've got a whistle. And a free kick. I'm not sure if they called ball or what, but uh, might have called ball. Maybe called running too far. But anyway, Quebec gets the free kick and goes through a couple of players. Quebec has it. 
And they look for open space in the middle of the ground, and they've got it now. And that is a Chamberlain again. Chamberlain has his target. Oh, just goes off one hand, headed towards the goals right now, and headed to Jeremy Hum now. He actually is able to pick it up off the ground, handball it, and then get it to, uh, once again, Hewlett, who kicks it to Calvert Jones. Calvert Jones paid the mark. Calvert Jones looking to set up a couple of targets. And then he will kick it ahead, and boom, there we go. Along the boundary, does it stay in? Ivester can't mark it. He's spoiled from behind. And, oh, they try to get it to Ivester again. He picks it up off the ground now. Handballs it back. Demons have a bunch of players in there. And we've got a uh, free kick going to the Demons. Demons right now trail by 14. They need points. They need them in a hurry. And the kick goes right in front of Ivester. Bounces off. He's able to take it now. And he stops. And he's able to just tap it ahead a little bit, looking for Newton. And it gets kicked off the deck by the Saints. It looks like Quebec will have it. But Newton is in pursuit. And Quebec kicks it to the middle of the ground. And here they go again with it now. Oh, he is wrapped up, but he gets the handball off. And here we go. On the move, the Saints. And that kick is going to go well wide and be not marked at, actually. It's going to go out of bounds, so it'll be a boundary throw in. Boundary throw in in the Saints forward pocket. Tossed up and hit out. And looking like a game of soccer for a second there. He's wrapped up, and that'll be ball. Free kick, Boston Demons. And I believe that's going to go to Hewlett once again. Hewlett's done a nice job picking up some touches. His, I'm sorry, that's not Hewlett. That's number 21. That's Dennis McDonald. And his, his free kick is smothered. I believe it was smothered by Bogdan Rotaru. Rotaru, you may remember a couple of years ago, uh, one of the games we featured during the uh, tournament in Boston, they played the Chicago Swans and Rotaru kicked the winning goal just as time expired to put the uh, Quebec Saints past the Chicago Swans. One of the most exciting games we had at that time on stateside footy as the kick comes in and trying to move it right ahead right now. Oh, Schwab tried to move it ahead, but then he, his pocket is picked and they kicked it ahead, takes a hop. And, oh, he can't quite get it anyway. That's Rotaru once again. And he is wrapped up, and he is, uh, I believe it's going to be ball. Demon's free kick. And he kicks it out into the near wing, and it's marked there by Calvert Jones. Calvert Jones with a kick. Schwab's, oh, he can't mark it. Can't hang on to it. And he is wrapped up, and ball. Schwab not happy about that as he punches the ground in frustration. And the free kick will go to Elliot Kempster. Kempster kicking toward the center. Almost intercept mark there by Ivester. He just can't hang on to it. But the Demons are going to come away with it. And the handball now goes to Calvert Jones. Gets it over to Keane. Keane handballs back to Calvert Jones. Calvert Jones dispossessed. Ball goes to ground. Keane handballs to Devine. Devine gets dispossessed and kicked ahead there by uh, Chamberlain. Ball takes a bounce. And Saints trying to knock it on forward. Can't quite do it. And just a big kick. Looking for. Nice mark there in traffic by Pat Keane. And Keane gets the free kick after that nice mark in traffic. He kicks it to Devine, who marks it. Devine plays on. And he kicks it out looking for Ivester. He's got him. Not 15, though. And he's going to have to kick it out to Jeremy Hum. Almost intercepted there. Let's see. We've got a couple of Saints in there now. And. Here we go, on the move. That's Quebec with it once again. I believe that's Marshall now. And the arms go up. That is full time. And the Quebec Saints have come up with a victory over the Boston Demons. The final score, Quebec 4-10-34. And the Boston Demons, three goals, two behinds, and 20 points. Next time out, we'll bring you the late game taking place today featuring the Maine Cats and the Quebec Saints. And don't forget, you can catch the program anytime, day or night. Just go to YouTube.com and look up Stateside Footy or go to our Vimeo channel at Vimeo.com slash channels slash Stateside Footy TV. Until next time, on behalf of our crew, Stacy Robert, I'm Bill Robert. Thanks again for joining us and come back for our next edition of Stateside Footy. Stateside Footy.